Welcome to Vinex Studio. Let's start making games. Hi and welcome to another tutorial on Unity. Today we are going to see how to split an animation clip into multiple animations. Now this method can only be used if you have the animation included with your model. That is when you download or purchase an animated model from outside of Unity, it comes in .fpx with the animation clip included. And most of the time, the author includes all the animation in a single clip. For example, here are the three models I downloaded from Turbo Squid, and the Egyptian here has a single animation clip called Take01. And if I play the animation clip, you can see that there is an idle animation here. And if you scroll along, so there's the run animation, the death animation, and the attack animation. So all the animations are included in the single clip Take01. Now, if all the animations are in the single clip, there is no way for me to control when to play what animation. So I need them as separate clips. So Unity has a way for that with the FPX models. So just select your model and you will be seeing this options in the inspector. Just select the animation tab and inside the animation tab, you will see the clips option. And as you can see, you will have a start and the end. These are the frame numbers. So for example, this starts at frame zero and the angle animation grows up to frame 320. And then the, sorry, the run animation uh, starts from around 330 and goes to 350, 360. Then comes the death animation from 360 to 440. And then comes the attack animation from 450 to the end. So we can just give the start and the end number and make new clips. So let's do that. So first let's create a new animation clip by clicking on the plus sign here. And let's go come from the end. The last one was my attack animation. So I'm going to call this attack. Okay. And the attack animation was somewhere from... Okay, so that was 442 to 512. Then I'm going to add one more, and this will be the death animation. And the start point of the death animation should be somewhere near 330. So if we play from 330, it's running. So it's not 330, it's somewhere like 360. So there you go, it's 360 to what was the starting point. So I'm going to make it 440. So then let's add another clip and let's call it the run animation. And the run animation is going to start from, it's going to end at 4.4, sorry, it's going to end at 3.50, for sure. And the start position should be somewhere at uh, maybe 300. Okay, it's not 3.50, so it's going to be... 360 was the death starting point, so let's make it 359 and it's not 340. So that's it. 340 to 359, it's my run animation. Now let's go and make the idle animation. The idle animation was the longest, so I guess I can give any number from 0 to 200. So that's my idle animation. So once you're done with the animation clips, click on the apply button. And now if you go to the Egyptian, you'll be able to see individual animation clips. Now you can use this animation clips in the animator controller and decide when to play which animation. So that's it for this tutorial. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment box below. And if you like to read this as a blog post, it is also available on Vinex Studio. I'll leave the link to the blog post in the description. Thank you and see you again. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share.